All right, they were at the uh, starting line of the Red Mountain 50K. Uh, the race is uh, basically uh, 12 miles of trail and then uh, pavement after that. Uh, beautiful scenery, but everyone's getting ready, getting warmed up. We're ready here, uh, about ready to start. 30 seconds. Red Mountain 50K. All the perfect. Right now I'm about a mile four and a half climbing this. I'm gaining a little elevation here. I'm trying to keep the pace, see how I do. I'm right now at about a mile four and a half. Climbing a little bit, so I'm gonna walk this part and then I'll pick it up here in a few minutes. We're at about mile five. As you can see the Sun is coming up now. I'm at mile eight. Uh, right now, it's pretty much downhill. Trying to cross the stream. Ooh, uh. You know, one thing about ultra running is you have to always watch your feet. Here we go, here's the stream. Right over that way. <laughs> Leaving the aid station at to mile nine. You know, one of the reasons why I like running ultra marathons is that you're out in nature. You see so many beautiful sights. Uh, the people are very friendly that run these races. And you can take your time and enjoy the scenery. One of the cool things about this area and uh, St. George, Utah are the extinct volcanoes. And you can see the cinder cone in front of me way off in the distance. Uh, of course, it's been extinct for thousands of years, but you see volcanic rock everywhere. I'm at about mile ten and a half. Scenery's changing a little bit. Going down into a wash area. But very green. Horses in the area as well. Here we are changing our shoes. Going to pick those up. You can see people changing the shoes right over there. Gotta change my shoes here. Mile 12. Let's see what happens the rest of the race. Right behind me, people are changing your shoes at mile 12. I went ahead and did that, and I'm gonna start on the road now. A lot of volcanic rock. Mile 19. Ah. I'm still going, but getting a little bit tired. I'll just do the best I can. Uh, people uh, are spread out now, all the racers. Beautiful view of Gunlock Reservoir. Just keeping on about mile 20. Yeah, that's not even taking that long. At this point in most races, at 26 miles, you're pretty much finished with the marathon. But I have five more to finish this ultra marathon. Let's hang in there and see what happens.